for cascading more number of stages we can use already created layout you can observe nine stage layout is shown over here using this we will create 21 stage layout nine stages we will copy as it is we will paste below that so that instead of long rectangular layout our layout will look like little square in this case the ground rail can be shared between this upper nine cell and lower nine cell instead of sharing ground rail it is also possible to share vdd by flipping this layout so over here if we want to share a ground rail the below part we are going to flip using mirror option we will delete this portion we will take remaining portion near to previously created cells and we will provide ground connection to the source of nmos by adding three more stages over here our 21 stage layout is over now we need to connect output of last one with the input of first one you can observe output of this 11th inverter that is through metal to wire is connected with this stage and the output of last one that is the 21st stage is connected with first one through this poly vdd of top layer is connected with the below layer and ground rail is shared for upper cells as well as lower cells export vdd and ground connect the output over here and write spy stack spy stack of 21 stage inverter is shown over here lines for measurements are added and the simulation output we can visualize over here you can also measure one cycle time that is coming out as 5.987 nanosecond which will result in approximately 167 megahertz frequency instead of using this long metal to wire over here we can use one more option in which the below 10 transistor we can select and we can before flipping remove the ground connection select the 10 stages and mirror them from left to right make sure alignment is proper and there is no drc so now you can observe, you can consider this as stage 11 and this one as stage 12. So we can simply connect this
and then this will be treated as the last stage which can be connected with the first stage. So in this connection we are able to avoid metal to connection. As well as in this case this will be the source of NMOS which need to be connected with ground. Once all grounds are connected, we will perform ground export. Both the VDD need to be connected. And we will perform power export. Spy stack of 21 stage ring oscillator is shown in LT Spice. Lines for measurements are added to measure time period for one cycle. On the execution, square wave are visible. And from log, we can identify time period for one cycle is 5.987 nanosecond, which will result in 167 megahertz frequency. As shown in this layout, for more number of stages, multiple rows are created and each row different cells are in accommodated. Power rails as well as ground rails can be shared between upper and lower cell in different rail. That way, area of layout can be minimized. In this case, size of layout is shown as 289.5 cross 129, which need to be multiplied by 0.04 micrometer square to get actual area. So, for 21 stage ring oscillator, area is 1493.82 micrometer square. Thank you for listening.